When Black Mountain College closed in 1957, much of the Lake Eden campus had already been vacated, leaving little evidence of this legendary 24-year experiment in education. What remained were architectural projects, including the Studies Building, constructed by students, faculty, and staff of the college. Two frescoes, Inspiration and Knowledge, had been painted on the concrete pylons beneath the Studies Building in 1944 by artist John Charlot and students of the inaugural Summer Institute. Today, the frescoes remain as the only artworks at the historic Black Mountain College campus, now Camp Rockmont, a summer camp for boys. Over the years, the frescoes lost their presence, degrading due to issues related to human and environmental causes. This year, with the support of the Marion Stedman Covington Foundation, as well as our partners at Camp Rockmont, conservation was completed on the frescoes, inspiration, and knowledge, and additional measures were recommended to maintain the historic frescoes into the future. Examination of the frescoes revealed that they were impacted by environmental factors such as light, insects, weather, and moisture, as well as wear and tear from human contact. Most notably, the frescoes showed signs of seasonal washings that had bleached the surfaces. Close examination also revealed graffiti carvings. Professional conservation treatment was conducted in the fall of 2020 by conservators Craig Crawford and Maho Yoshikawa. After creating a clean, stable, and even surface, Crawford and Yoshikawa began to apply thin washes of pigment to the frescoes, thus bringing the images gradually back to life. This technique, referred to as in-painting, allows conservators to restore the aesthetics of a work of art while ensuring a minimum of interference with the original pigments. In-painting was especially critical for knowledge, which had lost much of its detail and pigment. Using their deep knowledge of frescoes from the period, as well as historic records and photographs, Crawford and Yoshikawa restored the lost pigment, defining highlights, shadows, and volume, and bringing out shapes and details which had been completely lost to time. After days of meticulous work, conservation was complete, and now, for the first time in over 50 years, the frescoes' inspiration and knowledge can be viewed as they were intended.